Hello, friends and neighbors. Welcome to another production of the program. Here we are on TV once again, once a day, every day. Turn on the machines and live for ever. It's not Saturday, that's wrong. Did I change the phone on Sunday? Sunday the 9th? Sunday the 9th. I think it's 3442 Sunday, so I didn't change this thing. Here goes. Sunday. I know what day it is. I'm looking at this thing. It's the 9th. And the numbers are two more ahead than the the, the, the other numbers, so. We're frying five, fee fee. We're fee fee five four. If a baby baby, uh, what are we gonna do today? I think I'm gonna get to these messages and stuff, cause I'm trying to look at these tapes still. It's, uh, yesterday, on Saturday, I had the program in the daytime at around oh this thing's almost out of water glug 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 um at around one o'clock with Jackson I was eating uh Pork, bull pork pizza and eggplant pizza and uh, I don't know what we're talking about, but I made it back. Sometimes you go do the program and more than 24 hours ago, it seems like forever ago. After the program, I went over to there to the work and uh, everybody was hungover. They were like, oh, I'm hungover. It's like, oh no. That's your whole life, huh? Hung over life. I was fine. And then I went to... Um, came back down here and did some more writing on this book. I'm writing this book. Viewers, if you want to read the book, you can, you're going to have to get a copy from me. But I'm on page 17. I'm writing a 300-page book. It'll be a process, you know. I mean, I've been doing this thing. It takes 300 days. But this thing is going to take me, I guess, less. Because I started it on the 5th. It's the 9th, 17 pages in. I'm trying to get to 300 pages. Uh, so I came back down here, did some writing. I got some pho soup last night. It was pretty good. Uh, and then I got on the bus and went home to my residence to go lay my head. I did make it home, and then after that, I rode to my grandmother's house in the morning. I woke back up, laid my head, woke up this morning, went to grandma's. On my way out, I dropped my Game Boy, though, and I dropped the game. I, I think I, I remember dropping the Game Boy. I don't remember dropping the game, but I, now the game that I had in there is gone. It's a good game, Picross. I, I got to go find it, and maybe it's going to be in the streets now, but it ended up in a puddle. So I'm gonna see how resilient it is when I get back out there. If I remember to get back out there at nighttime, uh, if I remember to go look in the puddle, hopefully I remember. Puddle, puddle, puddle. Why well, is I trying to remember out of a puddle? That's what I'm maybe thinking now. So I dropped the game maybe on the way out there, but then we went over to Grandma's, and then I went to Grandma's, and we went to uh, Popeyes again. With Grandma, Popeyes is good. And Popeyes is this kid who's working at Popeyes and Lisa right now. If you ever go out there, viewers, he's being crazy <laughs> and talking to everybody. And nobody wants to talk to him. And the employees don't. He thinks it's his job to entertain the the the, the work or the, the customers or something. 
But uh, yeah, how he's talking to everybody, and everybody thinks it's crazy. And then we went to Walmart, and at Walmart they got those robots driving around cleaning stuff. It's pretty weird too. We went back to Grandma's, took a nap. Uh, Andrew cooked some pizza rolls in the air fryer. It wasn't great. And then and I went over the bus over here, back here. So I made it here. So that was that stuff. So let's get to the phones. We're getting to the phones all quick today because uh, I just have a feeling. And I don't want to look at these tapes. I wanna, I'm going to try to catch up on the tapes some more. Looks like we've got a good amount of voicemails anyway. It looks like Gene. And um, James and Yellowfell, they all called, so let's check them. Check these messages. Hello, program. It's Gene Squire. Hi, Jim. Oh, sorry to miss your call. Um, <clears throat> I was at a Bernie organizer friend's meeting that uh, I didn't have to host this time last night. Um, but I am sick and going to New Hampshire tomorrow to knock on doors for Bernie. And then I'll come home and visit with a friend and then have a Bernie call and then go to bed. So probably won't be able to talk to you tomorrow and maybe maybe on Monday or Tuesday you'd call me if it's not too late and get my program fixed. Um all right. Do we'll you we'll try. Ear hurts when you're sick because it's all buffed up. Bop, bop, I don't, bop. But I do now and I don't like it. Mm, let me know what you might do. Uh, okay, goodbye. Okay. I'll maybe I'll watch some program now to get my jokes. I will. Go watch it. Okay, goodbye. Watch program. me. Right, here's the next one. Hello, Penny. Hi, Gene. Here I am calling to tell you when to call me. I'm going to be on a phone call from 8 to 9 at 5 to 6 your time. So, if you called me, and then I'm going to probably drop to bed. So, you could call me between 9 and 10, 6 to 6.30, maybe around the oh. beginning of the well, it's right now. program, Gene. if you want to catch me. Or maybe, um, yes. I'm sick, <laughs> and I'm going to lead and then walk around for six hours tomorrow, um, and then see a friend. Oh, I said this already. I'm a little bit bubbled. Okay, that's the message. <laughs> yeah. Call me at uh, 6.05 oh, tomorrow, or well. 6.10, for a quick chat. It will be so nice. Okay, goodbye. It's, I'm making it in the, in the window, Gene, but barely. See, if I waited, I was thinking about waiting, and I would have missed the window, so. Hello, Gene. I made it in the window. Oh, very nice. Very nice. I have my friend Gaya here, and I was just telling her all about the program. Oh, yeah. Well, here we are. Here you are. Hi. Hi. What, what's her name? Gaya. Cecilia? Gaya. Gaya? <laughs> G. 
Gaia? Gaia. There uh, you go. Gaia. Yeah. Gaia. Gaia. Earth. Like Earth. Nope. No? Gaia. <laughs> but, yeah. 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 <laughs> Very good. <laughs> uh, how are you? I'm still sick. Oh, no. What What do you got? Cold? My head is all stuck. My head feels very stuffed. I feel like I could topple over. You think it's a cold? Yep. Is it a cold or is it the flu or is it the, the Nora, the, the, the coronavirus? I think it's not the coronavirus. Oh, okay. Yep. But, yeah, I would ask, so is it a cold or is it flu? I don't know. How do I know? Uh, if colds uh, are more consistent and they don't have nausea, if you have nausea, then it's probably the flu. Oh, okay. I don't. That's good. No, it's probably a cold then. Yep. And well, what are you doing to combat it? I am, well, I went home on Wednesday afternoon uh -huh. early from work okay. and I slept three hours and then I stayed home on Thursday and Friday and then I didn't do anything or much on Saturday he was out for three hours yeah and so I've been laying in bed and I've been drinking water and tea and fire cider it's fire cider spritz my nose with a little like with saline solution that I made to distill water and salt. Mmm. You just you just put salt in the water and then you're putting it in your nose? Yeah, I made the water warm too. Is that good? It works? Didn't work. I never heard but about... I think it was doing a lot. A neti pot. But I didn't have the neti oh, pot. Oh, a neti pot seems weird. Yeah. Well, I heard you can I get br brain infections from a neti pot if you're not careful. That's what Gaia said. Oh, yeah, well, maybe it's true if you heard more than once. and Yeah, well, it's, you have to use distilled water. You can't use regular water. There yeah. might be stuff in it. It still seems like I, would, I wouldn't want to risk it personally. Hmm. Uh, have you used those yeah, before? Well, I've had like two or three doctors tell me to do it. To, to do it? Yep. All right, well, I guess they know. Have you tried it before? Uh, one time. So what you like? You like take a pot of water or whatever. It's like the it looks like a teapot, but don't drink but tea I out of it. it I got a little. It's called like an ear. What is it? An ear cleaner thing. Ear syringe. You know, a little ball, rubber ball that maybe you would take little baby boogers out of. Okay. And then you. So it's a bigger one. You fill it so with like. Two, water in that. Yeah. And two, I put my head down on the side. Uh huh. Squirt it in the top nostril. It comes in the out the bottom nostril. Oh. So you squirt like the yeah. whole. It's like a what like a cup of water. It's just like going all the way in there and out. Maybe like a third of a cup at a time, or a little less. You're just like washing out your nose, huh? Yeah. Well, where does it go on the inside of your head? Is it going into your brain? <laughs> like, what? It's, it's going out the other nostril. It's all like, connected. It's all connected? It can come right? in the mouth, too, but I did, it didn't really happen that way for me. Oh. Seems yeah. scary and weird. Yeah. Did well, it? have to be desperate. It worked, though? Want, I don't want it anymore. Uh, I don't think so. I think you're supposed to do it a lot. You put some, like, like rubbing alcohol time. in it or something? No, I don't want to do that. Yeah, but I'd be worried about getting a brain infection. Yeah. But, uh... Mm -hmm. I don't know. Um, What's going on uh, over there? What's going on? Well, it's uh, it's just around 6.30. It's your bedtime, maybe. Uh, uh, the buses are free. I was on the bus. Yeah. Um, a library, too, maybe, huh? You uh, Yeah, I heard the library... They're no longer making fees. Yeah. So maybe that means I can just go to the library and take stuff and never come back, or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe my old fees are forgiven. I I I think I told you about the library, my library situation. 
I think so. I think we might have gotten into it a little bit. Yeah. Maybe you should go back to the library. I I mean, I have the internet. I have, like, pretty much a lot of media. I don't... Even books are on the internet, so... Mm-hmm. It's more pleasant to hold a book. I prefer the Kindle. Oh. Uh, yeah, you real... can get Kindle things from the internet, from the library. Yeah, but I can only get them from the internet. You have to pay for them? Yeah, I guess. You're supposed to pay for them, but uh, you can get them from the internet. But uh, yeah, yeah. I guess I'm writing this book. Maybe I'll bring my book to the library after I done write it. Good. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you getting? I you you're not getting Bernie's constituents sick? I might have today. Yeah, yeah. you go around. You're like, vote for Bernie. <laughs> like you yeah. know. I talked to so few people today. We went to I think we had fifty names. And, you know, sometimes there's two people to a house. Yeah. And we went to the mall, and uh, I think I talked to less than five people. What? <sighs> Why? There nobody was home? Less people. No one home. Yeah. What'd you, and you just said, hey. You, Some were pretending not home. What do you say? What's your spiel? Let's say, I want to hear it. Like, it's like I'm, you're knocking on the door, and they open the door, then what? Well, I was so sick and a little bit dumb because my head is full so at first we'd be like oh hello i'm jean and this is kit and then we look at each other <laughs> uh trying to figure out what to say uh -huh. i think we were supposed to say and we're we were volunteering with the bernie sanders campaign bernie's running for president to make sure that our economy and our government works for everyone, not just the wealthy few. Yeah. Are you going to support Bernie for president on Tuesday? Uh, or are you a Bernie supporter is whether yeah. we were supposed what, to what, What's happening on Tuesday? And then if they say they are a Bernie supporter, you then say, okay, can I count to you to vote in the primary on Tuesday? And then they say yes. And then you say, okay, great. So, the polls are open. Do you know where their polling station is? Okay, it's this place. It's Williams Town Hall, I think. And the time is from, it's open from 7, or no, 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. So, are we planning to go in the morning or in the afternoon? Or in the evening? And You're trying to get them to vote for the... Uh, uh, yeah, to not forget to vote or miss it by accident. For the primary. Yeah, it's a very big deal. It's only the second state that is. That will, well, know, Iowa was down. first? You got it. Yep. Did Bernie win? He won the popular vote. It was all fucked up. Did you hear about that? No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> was it like Electoral uh, College kind of stuff? Uh, a little bit. And also, <laughs> the voting app failed. Or like. Uh, so they had to maybe count everything by hand. Yeah, and there was an app that hadn't been tested that, like, lots of people didn't know about or, like, had ever used. It was, like, to a totally new app. The, like, there people are voting on their cell phones? All these rich people know, but I think, like, the results were counted on this or something like that. And, and then all the phone lines were blocked, so no one could get through. And so instead of knowing at 11 p.m., they didn't even have, I think it took until 5 o'clock the next day to even have 86% of the votes. Why, it was, it was a conspiracy? No. Yeah, because yeah, the app was funded. One of the major funders of the app was Pete Buttigieg. Oh, so what? What? Who was declared the winner, even though he has less votes? Oh, down the line than Bernie. Bernie has more than six thousand votes than him. But anyway, it's still annoying that he did so well. Why did he's he, a young punk. Uh, he's eight. He's thirty-eight. Did he's he? Not a punk at all. He's so who's the official winner him. now? I don't know. Bernie calls himself the official winner because he has the most votes. I think that's. Well, who fair. is like the news or whatever? <laughs> They haven't even put it on since I think maybe Buddha Judge, but but sometimes it says it's it's uh 
too close to call or things like that. Uh, so they sort of lost attention. Now the attention. New Hampshire. Buttig That's why I went there today. Is Buttigieg the mayor guy? Is that the mayor? Yeah. I remember we talked about it. Yeah, he's like Indiana? He's I like don't a, know. Like a middle. It's a middle. I was wrong. I think I got confused because it's North Bend, and I got confused about it being Oregon, but it's not. It's a Midwest town. And well, he's rich as hell, right? Is that what... Yeah, I don't even know if he's rich. He is gay, and he's, like, retired. He, like, served in uh, Afghanistan, 38, but he has a lot of really wealthy funders. Who's and, the rich uh, one? I thought that one of, the, one of them was, like, crazy. Oh, no. Yeah, that's Tom Seiler or something like that. He's just, like, trying to buy his and way And then in. there's a new one. There's a new one in New York. What's his name? Bloomberg. Bloomberg, yep. Bloomberg, maybe is the rich one. Yeah. He just blasted in recently with his money. I don't know about this booty yeah. judge guy. I never heard of him. Uh, he's very boring. He uh, talks well. He, I think he speaks well. He's pretty good in the debates. He's boring. Actually, That's not good. You, right. But when you notice what he's saying, it's all air. Like, there's no substance. You need a it. yeller f to, f to fight Trump, huh? Like, like Bernie's always yelling. What? He's just yelling because he's you know, talking about the truth. Yeah, but he's yelling. That's what the important thing is to me anyway. I don't know what he's yelling about. I want a yeller. Well, that's silly. You do want one. Well, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I don't care what he says. This is as long as he's loud. Well, Trump, he yells. He yells too. Again? Well, he doesn't... But he, I don't know. I think Bernie's... Louder. Yeah. Yeah. Trump is not as yeah. loud. Bernie. I mean, Trump. Does he yell that much? He's. Bernie's been quieter recently because he he's so right. People are noticing, and he's just like, yeah, and it's so bad. You're with me. Oh, he got he, he got <laughs> called out for yelling too much. No, I think he's just confident that people are listening. <laughs> uh. I don't know. I think he's. He's a front writer right now, but... But then again, he could end up like, um, remember, uh, uh, Ed, Edwards? Was it Edwards? Howard Dean. Or Dean, yeah, Howard, Dean. Howard, yeah. Dean. Yeah. That was Gaia. Gaia knows. She's almost sleeping here, but she knows. Howard Dean was also from Vermont. Oh, really? Well, he was a yeller. He probably would have been good, but he yeah. yelled too much. Yeah, just that one time. I don't even, I just don't understand that. that was, well, they said that was weird. a media ploy thing. Yeah. A conspiracy? Oh, weird. How would that affect anything? Yeah, the media. Everybody thought he was crazy. They took him down. They chopped off. Yeah! I do that. Who doesn't do that? It's a fun thing to do. Yeah. You're feeling it. Make the noise that you're feeling. <laughs> I don't think I... I don't I never do... I don't do that. Well, Kenny, maybe you should practice. Practice getting really riled up? Yeah. We're going to get them in North Carolina. We're going to find yeah. them in North Dakota. We're going to get them in Oregon and watch it. Yeah! <laughs> okay, good. Yeah, that you felt like that. That felt good, right? Yeah, sure. Powerful. Uh, well, that's good. When is, the next one's in New Hampshire. Yeah, Tuesday. And then, and then we got to do all those, and then you're gonna win that thing, and then you're gonna try to win the president after after you win all these. What do you yeah. call them? But the, the, yeah, but the the, the primaries. The primaries. Uh, yes, to win the nomination. You, have to win the you nomination. know something I'm annoyed by is that like that whole primary process is not even sh it shouldn't be part of the the president like the road to the presidency because that's like really promoting the system and like that's not in the government. The primary system is not not like part of the government. That's part of like the party, right? Mm, yeah. Yep. But it's like you got to be in the party to win. It's like the only way to do these primaries, which are like kind of private. Like the primaries are private. 
So well, I think you can. Most places you can be in them if you're not signed up for either party. I mean, you can you can be it, but you're not gonna win. There's like no way to win. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, uh, yeah, there's no way to win that. Unless you, parties right now. you yeah. gotta, you gotta get in with this private, ti- privatized, not government funded party thing, which is like kind of weird, but I guess that's how it is. Yeah. Is he maybe Bernie will change that too? But he's a democratic socialist, so he's not even in the party. He's, he's not in the party. Socialist. No, he's a democratic socialist. Yeah, but isn't he? He caucuses with them. Yeah, but he's uh, but he's trying to win the the party nomination though, isn't he? Yeah, well, that's the way he wins. So he's got to be in the party. Mm. And you probably shouldn't be saying that he's a socialist. That's like not a good word. It's a great word. I love it. It is. Oh, really? But what about for popularity? Well, I mean, think of all the democratic socialist governments that are out there that work great. Yeah. In Denmark. Sweden you gotta rebrand though. Fine. Well, that's their fault. They're stupid enough to bring believe that socialists or communists is bad. But yeah. It's not. Well, yeah, I, I believe you, but yeah, you gotta. Re- I think you gotta rebrand. Yeah. Um, that's why we guess. Yeah. Well, how's uh, how's Phil? He's sleeping right next to me, right here on Dan's lap. He's good. He looks a little greasy today. I don't know why. Greasy? Yeah. How's he feeling? I think he's licking himself a lot. Oh, uh, extra? Maybe. I think he doesn't go outside as much because it's cold. Is he stressed? Maybe. He doesn't get as much exercise because he's not going out as much. Yeah. Does he feel greasy or does look greasy? Looks greasy. Like shiny? Maybe he's a shiny. It's like he's licked it, and it looks like wet hair, you know. Over licked. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is he? <laughs> but yeah, maybe he got into some grease. <laughs> maybe. Seems like it's happening frequent. Yeah. He's he's coming home greasier and greasier. Different places. One day he's just gonna be dripping with grease. I hope not. Yeah. Uh, he's, yeah. so he's got not gotten in that building or something recently, the neighbors? I think he may have. I have the phone number of someone who lives in the building, and she did text me and admit that he's, uh, people sneak him in there. And I'm trying to remember what else you said. Oh, you're sick, you're doing nothing. What'd you eat for dinner? We went out to our Thai food. Uh, <laughs> I like Pad Ki Mao. Do you like that? that yeah, Pad Ki Mao, drunken noodles, huh? Flat yeah. noodles. There. Yep, that's right. With those kind of, yeah. Big oh. and spicy and good. It's good. I'm surprised you like mm-hmm. it. I thought you don't like that kind of stuff. Mm, I do. I don't like, like a lot of hot sauce on my food, but I like spicy food. Pad Ki Mao noodles, flat noodles, is like, at what point are they no longer noodles? Because noodles got to be, like, long, right? But Yeah, they're still good. Like, I want more of those noodles in my life. Why aren't there more? They're so it's po- soft I guess it's pasta. I guess it's not pasta. It's Uh-oh. like rice noodles. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What? I'm going to go and say goodbye to Gaya. If what's what's beeping? Getting picked up. Huh? I have to go so I can say goodbye to Gaia. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. That was Jean. At what point is Pasta no longer? Uh. Um. Uh, noodle. Like, is it ravioli a noodle? A lasagna a noodle? I don't know. Uh, 
Oh, this is the, the message that we left and then got conferenced into. Maybe. Uh, hello? Hey. Hey, do you want to leave a, me to leave a message to your own show? Do we get cut off? I think I, I think that we, the call got dropped, but you should leave a message to your own show because you're on. I like, connected the call with your voicemail box. Oh, right now? Yeah. Oh, well, hi, future. It's not the past. Let me no, 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 no. That's not the future. This is the present. Well, it's the present now, but I'm leaving a message. For, it's always to the future. Oh. The future. But you're, no, I guess that's true. It's always to be something different. I always leave messages to the future, but uh. Now it's on the voicemail, which is a little weird. I have never called the voicemail. It's like Freddy or something, isn't it? I don't even know what the thing is anymore. Yeah, so... This is all going to replay. I don't think it's really... Doesn't, that, doesn't seem like it's worth replaying yet, does it? Well, well, I'll play it back anyway. What's right. worth... If I'm pointing the... Uh, the, the what's like you can change the pronunciation of your name. And uh, Freddy's tailgate's open. Uh, <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. that would get We made it. Dangerous I'm alive. Okay, bye, future. Yeah. Bye. Yeah. I'm like, oh, uh, I don't know if I can. Uh, uh, <laughs> like, uh, uh, I don't know. Like, there's this guy, the band guy that wanted to come on the show. I don't think he really understood the show. Did he want strict? Did he want like strict topics and like segments? And... Well, he wanted to come on at first because there was other bands that were good, and he's like, okay, I want to come on because I don't know. He wanted to be in the band, and I was like, well, you should probably watch the show before you come on. Mm -hmm. And then he, and then he watched it, and then he said like, "Yeah, yo, oh, the clear one, sending." No, like, what are you doing? Do anything? Oh, he sounds like a square to me. Yeah, he's a square. All right, well, I'm about to get on my train, my choo choo train. All right. All right, All right bye, Jack. Yeah, bye, Kenny. Okay. Yeah, bye, 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 bye. That was a weird message. And there's one more. It just says, "Let's." Hi. Hello, y'all fella, or Emily? Hey, it's me, Emily. What's up? Hi, how are Emily, you? Emily, I don't know. How are you? How about that? That's a better question. I'm fine. Hi. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? I'm just chilling at JR's, listening to some live music, watching the Oscars with the sound off. I just had a plate of wings, and uh, I had a, a yangling, and I also had a, a vodka cranberry, because I wanted something sweet. Cosmo. Cosmo? That's, uh, can you speak English? Cosmopolitan. Cosmopolitan. That's what I should get next? That's a cranberry vodka. Who's winning the Oscars? Um, I don't know, like uh, uh, Colonel Sanders or something. Yeah. All right, uh, listen, uh, my, uh, my slave is calling me. I have to go. Your slave is calling you? Don't you run the show of the slave? I think she's hungry or something. Are you talking about I, John? I, I, I gotta go. I, I don't know. What about, I'm, can I'm you, pissed can off you, at her right can now. Can you give the phone to John? No, uh, he's, he's, he's tied up at the moment. Okay, bye. You know what I mean. I don't know. If you know what I mean. He's uh, tied up at the moment. Are you, you saying he's, I mean. he's pooping? No. I don't know what you mean. Very funny. Uh, a little comedian. Oh, Yelfa's friends are comedians. I think it's so funny. And you're making jokes. Making jokes. Oh, Colonel Sanders? 
It's clever. Jokes. Clever jokes, huh? Hey. Hey, guys. Hi, James. Um, it's James. I'm at brunch. I'm at a drag brunch in Seattle. Drag brunch. I'm eating. I'm drinking. I'm having a good old time. Um, Day drag, huh? So, uh, if you didn't even hear me, I'm coming on the show tomorrow. I hope you realize by now it's a Monday thing. Probably about eight. We'll figure it out. So, uh, call me whenever you get on the show. All right, bye. Hey, everybody say hi. Hi! All right, hi. We'll All see right. you tomorrow. Bye, bitch. <laughs> bye. <laughs> bye. I we're getting weird at day drag. I don't know, the drag's not for the sunlight, isn't it, James? The mailbox is full and cannot accept any messages at this time. Goodbye. Bye. Mailbox is full. This is Friday the producer. Hey, you've reached Friday. I don't blur. Can't come over right now. Be feeling nice message. I'll call you back as soon as I can. Thanks a lot. Hey, Freddy. Hello. Hello. Hey, how is it going? Hi. Good. How are you? <clears throat> I'm good. Please leave me a nice message and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. <laughs> yeah. I thought I was going to be doing that. You must have caught, you could, like, rarely caught it. Did you hear me doing it? Uh, I, I figured you might. <laughs> yeah. A lot of times you do that. I was doing it. I got caught up right before I, I, I thought I admit that you were going to miss it. Yeah. That's good. Ooh, I'm at um, FedEx. Uh-huh. Um, um, stapling a zine. Oh, doing some final ones? Well, I don't know. I I am thinking I'm just gonna do one because I don't want to cut them all on this cut the cutter they have here. Yeah. Because it's not as good. So I'm just gonna make the reading copy and then get everyone's uh, get them all to everybody next week. Sounds There's good to plan. me. Yeah. Got a little behind, but that's okay. You know. Yeah. At least they can. At least it, it's got a nice. It'll be a nice finished one, and everyone can read it. Good. And look at it and say, "Oh, nice! There it is." It was. Next week you'll get one. Dirty dancing. Dirty dancing. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I always want to ask people what like what it's like and the place they're at, but then they're describing the people around them on the phone, and that gets kind of weird. Hmm. Yeah, I, is that what you're asking me to do? <laughs> I kind of wanted to do, but... <laughs> <laughs> um, well, let's see. I wonder if I can describe... Um, like, no, uh, that does sound kind of weird. Yeah, I, feel like I always ask people to do it on the bus. Thing. Oh, yeah. They're sitting That's, on the bus wow. like they're the only ones that are talking. And I'm like, how's the bus? <laughs> He's like, this bus stinks. <laughs> <laughs> it smells. <laughs> no, um, I'm having a good time at this place. Good. It's working out great. They always have, like, candy. You know that candy there? Nope, they don't have that here. They don't have candy? Candy? Yeah, look Why at that. Why would they have candy? They look at, the, at, shop. at the at the place where they, uh, at the at the front desk, where you can buy stuff. 
Oh, you can buy candy, yeah. Yeah. Not free candy. Not free candy, but yeah. you can buy it. It's like everywhere you oh, go, yeah. you can buy candy. I'm who's eating all this candy. Yeah, I guess I haven't even thought of it. I didn't even notice that there was candy. They're on the go. You're right, there absolutely is. People are on the go. They got to print their print chefs, and then they got to uh, eat candy. Yeah. Oh. They got no, no time for a meal. There's even, like, taco time. Sometimes I see people uh, getting taco time, right, as they're coming here. Yeah, yeah. I don't like taco time. There's a guy in his car, like, eating one of those rolled tacos. Yeah, not a burrito. Mm-mm. It's got lettuce in it. It's a rolled taco. Yeah, this is a rolled taco. Uh, or, ten, what is it? Uh, something. Are you? Uh, am I interrupting your cutting process? Is it hard to cut while you're talking? You know, maybe. I think maybe the the it's more like the zine assembly process is getting in the way of my talking process. Oh yeah. Well, I'm not talking. I'm. I think I'm still doing all the things I need to be doing with my hands just as well, but I think my brain is working about half as well for communication. <laughs> Can you do more than one thing? It's like do two things poorly or one thing well, and then the next thing. <laughs> it's like, uh, I heard a good, what was it? It was just a one-liner in a movie that someone's like, you know. Yeah. Uh, Slow down and stop talking. He's like, well, I don't know if I can do two things at once. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's pretty good. I'm writing this book. I'm gonna try okay. to. I'm gonna try to talk, do this talk show, and write the book at the same time, with two different words. What? That sounds impossible. I've been talking about the book on the program. I've been talking about it. I'm. Keep, I'm keeping myself accountable. I don't think I'm gonna be able to finish. I don't think I'm gonna be able to do that. That sounds very challenging. Yeah. Because you're watching TV, talking, writing, and uh, I don't know what else. I don't think I can have more than one one more word stream in my mind at once. So that would be fun. And it's too too slow. Writing even like at its fastest is too slow for um for like what am I trying to say? You know, it's too slow <laughs> to to say. Yeah. You're right. No, it's too slow to write what you're saying. You know, you can't write. Oh yeah, what you're yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I did something pretty fun today. Uh huh. What? What's that? I saw something you don't know when you don't usually get to see. Uh, I saw someone doing donuts in a parking lot. Oh yeah. Like fast car donuts, like. And the what? The tires were all screeching and stuff. Yep. What kind of car was it? It looked like a nice car. Kind of like maybe old, but strong. Was it scary? You think there? Did you feel like they were in danger? Uh, there were a couple times where it started coming kind of towards me, and then yeah. I was a little scared. Wow. Definitely. Everybody was safe though. You no, know yeah, everyone was safe. Yeah. Did they leave those uh, lines on the on the in the pavement. What? Did they leave the lines on the pavement? They burn out lines and stuff? Oh, yes. Definitely. Definitely lines on the pavement. Mm -hmm. Wow. I don't think I've ever seen that before. There were some lines on the pavement when we, like, before that was happening. Yeah. But um, there's definitely some lines that were just there, you know, brand it's a new. popular donut spot. Yeah. I think it's an abandoned, um, or not abandoned, but it's a, not frequently used parking lot, and it's pretty spacious. It's like, what so do you, it yeah. It like a good place to do donuts. You go, like, really uh, fast, and then you slam the steering wheel to a side and, and slam on the brakes at the same time? Is that? Uh, you know, I wasn't in the car. I'm not sure how he was doing it. Yeah, I don't know how donuts work. Uh, I'm always very cautious in the car. I've never even tried to drive crazily fast. Yeah. Yeah. It seems scary. This is actually was part of a music video that we were doing. Yeah. For Cyberplasm, and another part of the video is was we were trying to get footage of people in a car driving uh -huh. in another car, like from the side, and so we drove in both lanes and we were filming. Yeah. 
Um, and even that was a little crazy. Uh, oh, but oh, well, what I was going to say is it's hard to make things look like they're fast. Like when you're driving and you're trying to film at the same time, it's like we're going 30 miles an hour, which seems pretty fast, but that's not very fast in the movie. I bet even like really fast, like on a freeway, it's hard to make it look fast. You know, I don't think, yeah. That, to make it... I don't think they're going that fast. I don't think they, in the movies they don't go that fast. I think they're doing tricks to make it seem faster. They're like zooming. Maybe they're zooming or something. I know that they like not going that fast, even with these like stunt drivers and stuff. Yeah, I think it might be like lenses and stuff, like making it stuff seem like it's moving faster than it is. Yeah, I think you're right. Like, like if it's like zoom, it's like zoom. Yeah, zoomed and. Like close, it's like if you're if you're far away and then you zoom in, doesn't it make it seem like everything's faster? If they're coming at you and you're zooming at the same time, no, it's yeah, like you're like that. but you're already zoom you're like far away, and the camera is zoomed and then it seems like they're going faster instead of you're close the to them and the camera is oh. not zoomed. Yeah, maybe that does make it faster. I don't know. It's like one of those ways makes it faster or slower. Oh, so you can be far away. Oh, far away but zoomed. Okay. It's like either far so, away but zoomed or close, be... close and wide. I don't know which one is the fast one, but one of those is the fast one. Oh no, no. We'll have to try it out. Yeah. Uh. All right. Well, I better let you go now. I guess at this point, I have to go. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Nice talking to you. Bye bye. I wonder if Heather is in the system. I told Grandma that I made it back here. H, A, B, C, F, G, H. Nope, no Heather, but here's Grandma. Tell Grandma that I made it back. Say, hey, Grandma, I made it. Hi, Grandma. How are you? Good, how are you? Yeah, I'm okay. But there's nobody here. Yeah. Except for me. I was just there. I left your house like an hour ago. I was at your, I was at your house an hour ago, but I just left. And now I made it what? downtown. I was just there. I left your house. I made it downtown. What did you say again? I was just at your house. Oh, yeah. I, and then I, 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 I left and I came downtown. Yeah. I made it. Okay. Told you so. Are you working now, huh? No, Andrew's at work. I'm, at, I'm downtown. Okay. You got water? Yeah, I got water. Okay. Okay, then talk to you to, tomorrow, next day. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. Grandma! What about Mark? Where's Mark? Oh, I don't think we're gonna have time to look at these tapes. Let's record a new one, though. Look at a few of them. Oh, this is nice. I <laughs> move the, the tape around so that my. Less tape on my butt. Hello. Hi, Rebecca. It's the program on Hi. TV. How are you? Hi there. I'd like if you um, put my voice uh, pretty soon. Roll, keep rolling your daily hour with me. Uh, maybe I could become a skeleton myself on your program, dear. Yeah, Roll, you rolling on your daily hour with us, with me. Rebecca, what you should do is call and leave a message, and like, I like, will. and I will, sir. And we'll Here's make you, we'll, we'll make you into a skeleton. <laughs> what? I could. <laughs> really? Yeah. Thank, thank you. Thank I you. I will call soon. I will call soon, love. Here's uh, Mark. All right. Love you, Freddie. We love you, Kenny. I love you. I was here with you. Hi, guy. Hey, Mark. How are you? Oh, pretty good. Got done eating some uh, vegetables. Oh, what kind of vegetables? 
corn. <laughs> yeah. Corn's a grand, Mark. <laughs> well, anyway, uh, do you got any company today? Nobody's here. Nope, just uh, you and me here. Oh, what about Ginsu? Does he ever come over? Uh, no, Mr. Ginsu lives in Oregon. And I've never met him in person. Oh. Only on the phone. You know, you don't know about that. I mean, you've never seen him in person. I don't know. Nobody knows what he looks like. It'd be kind of neat if he came on the show one time. I don't know. I don't want to meet him. I like it that he's a... I don't know what he looks like. You know, it's a mystery. Oh, yeah. 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 Uh, so you, you seen that... It started raining earlier. Yeah, it's raining every day. I'm not surprised. Um, so what are you doing right now? Well, it's getting down to the end of the show. We have about nine minutes left. I just talked to my grandma, talked to Freddie, uh, talked to Jean a little bit. It sounds like uh, Rebecca has seen those commercials. You've been running those commercials? Yeah, she wants a commercial, too. <laughs> yeah. She can get one. you got to leave a message like, like you did. you got to leave a message, and it's got to be proper. Yeah, you got to say the stuff like, like you were. Yeah. Uh, you, you've been seeing those commercials throughout the day? Yeah, I saw one, oh, maybe an hour or half, hour and a half ago. Yeah, they're playing in the afternoon and stuff. Isn't that fun? You like that? Yeah. You're seeing yourself on TV all day now instead of just at night. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, did you get yourself a pizza? No, I had pizza yesterday. I went to Popeye's this afternoon. Got chicken, huh? Yep. That's always good. I love that <laughs> chicken from Popeyes. Yeah. I think I'm gonna go after this. We're gonna go out to the Voyeur, so I think I'm gonna eat again at the Voyeur. Oh, what kind of food do they have? Um, uh, hippie food. Mm. It's pretty good. They got a burger though. I like the burger. I'm gonna get the burger. They got sauerkraut and hot dogs? Uh, nope. Oh. They got burger. They got, it's not a burger though. It's like steak meat. It's like mm. maybe steakums or something. Might mm. be steakums. Well, what are you, what are you doing? Oh, just sitting here drinking some water. Uh-huh. Yeah, well, are you watching TV? No, we're listening to Carpenters on the music on the CD player. Oh, the Carpenters, huh? That's nice. Oh, yeah, yeah. Very nice. Soft rock, I, I think they call it. Yeah, soft rock. I mean, it's not even rock, right? It's just, I would say, pop. Pop or something. Soft music, yeah. Car Karen Carpenter had a sad life, though, you know? Yeah, she uh, died from, uh, what's that called? Bulimia. Bulimia, yeah. yeah. she was just real bulimic, kind of scary. She didn't want to eat. It'd be, it'd be kind of nice to run across the, the carpenter guy, and I, he plays really good on the guitar. Yeah, I guess she was a singer, though, but wonder what happened to that guy after her, his sister died or whatever, then he got all scared, probably. I would be. Or he probably retired. Yeah, that's probably... But it'd be kind of neat to run into him and learn some licks, you know. What's she saying? Learn. Is tomorrow a holiday, Kenny? She said it's tomorrow a holiday. Uh, not that I know of, is it? Tomorrow's uh, Monday. Marzenist Day. Oh, yeah, Val Valentine's Day is coming up uh, in next f Friday. What? What's the date today? Uh, the 9th. 9th. Okay, yeah. President's Day is on the 17th. Yeah, Valentine's Day is coming up on Friday. Are you going to do something for Rebecca? Yeah, I already went out and we bought these, uh, you get six packages of boxes of, uh, chocolates. <laughs> yeah. For a low price and, at Safeway. And then you're going to eat them on Valentine's Day? Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Hey, I'm going to record a message of the future, okay? Okay. Hey, future's just the past.
What, what the hell's going on? <laughs> I guess it's I guess it's time for your daily hour with me again. Yeah, Gene is uh in the uh, making the Bernie stuff in New Hampshire, and uh, who do what? Who's the president? Hmm. Mark's talking. Uh, talk to Grandma and talk to Freddy. He's chopping zines. All right, bye, future. Yeah, they're doing the they're doing the Democratic debates, Mark. You know about that stuff? You know Bernie? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um. You uh, you ever go roller skating? No, I have not been roller skating since I was a child. Oh, they they redid the skating rink. Uh, Skateland? Yeah. Did you go there? Long time ago. I haven't been there since uh, maybe the 90s. They refurnished it. Oh, yeah? How is it? It's pretty cool. Well, that's what the guy said. Who? Uh, Steve over here. I haven't been there. Are you going to go? Not really, but... It was kind of nice to remember that place when we went there. It's probably hard on your hips. Yeah. When I was a little kid, when I went to Skateland, I spent most of my time in the arcade and in the cafeteria. They gave me and my brother free hot dogs one time. We we said we we're out of money. He says, oh, just keep them. Oh, well, that's nice of them. Yeah, they gave us free hot dogs. Well, you're hungry. Uh, gotta get some hot dogs. That's very nice of them. That's you should go there. You should go back there and go buy a hot dog from them to be like, hey, remember yeah. in the '80s or whatever when you gave me a free hot dog? Well, Strike up a conversation. Yeah, just give them another hot dog though, because maybe you could pay it back after the that long of a time, you know? Yeah. But I don't know. I I, I don't really like skating. I they I got an ice skating rink in in Olympia. Yeah, downtown. I'm always yeah. afraid I'm going to hurt myself. Mm. I'm weary of it. I'm afraid of hurting myself. Mm. So, don't, you know, don't hurt yourself. I'm going to get back on the scooter. I got this scooter. I fell off the scooter not too long ago. Maybe I should look at my wounds, but I don't want to move my bandages. Mm. So, I'm going to ride that scooter then. I'm getting back on the scooter, as they say, you know. Yeah. Oh. This guy, this kid had a skateboard he goes you want to try it and i go i don't think so yeah yeah i uh, i sprained my ankle by do doing tricks on it yeah you got pretty busted up back in the day right yeah yeah uh, look out um bicycles can be dangerous too yeah, you know, so is this walking. You know, I'm sometimes I think I'm gonna walk down the street and I'm just gonna like lose consciousness, hit my head on the ground or something because I'm pretty fi yeah. high up, you know. Well, I gotta get going because we're gonna finish eating our dinner and stuff. All right, thanks, Mark. We'll talk to you later. Okay, bye bye. Bye. Oh, what, what are you eating? I didn't miss it. Corn? I don't know what he's eating. Well, yeah, let's just look at the past couple of days here and then. That'll be that. That'll be that. That'll be that. I'm gonna try to remember to bring that. Get a friend looking for that game in the gutter. That'll be that. All right, let's look at oh, the weekend. Thursday. Saturday. Sunday. Oh, Friday, we'll get Thursday, too. Get a beat. -a. Here, this one. Hey. I'm going to the pot. How about that? Yeah, Mr. Ginch is on the phone. It's How Thursday. I'm not on the phone. What do you have to say to the future? I'm not on the phone. Being on the phone would like be like saying I'm on the crack or Is that making on, any sense? on the phone, alright, bye future. I'm not on the phone and I'm not on the crack neither. Hey future, it's us the past. Hey. Hi past. Hey. hey past. It's the future. Or hey future. What do you yeah. have to say to the future? <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm in your dream. <laughs> I need some cream. <laughs> Happy birthday, Freddy. Happy birthday, Freddy. Oh, thank you. It's your birthday in the future today. That's right. Happy birthday to future me. I got the couch still over there, alive. like the old times. We got the couch back. Oh. We got a wireless mic. Say something, Rose. Okay. Uh, so many things I'm I'm getting anxious about. What I should say. Oh, yeah. All right, bye, future. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, baby, don't be so anxious. Oh, uh, blood, <laughs> blood type zero. Hopefully you better. <laughs> Give some blood. Hey, future. Hey. hey future. It's, it's the past. It's Saturday. Yesterday. Saturday. Uh. Talk to yellow fellow. Uh, He's on a train. He had a racist bartender. Oh, uh, yeah. Talk to Kirsten. Changing the name from Kirsten. I'm uh, actually going to change his name to Jackson. Jackson. Instead of, uh, like, you can change the pronunciation of your name. And uh, Freddy's tailgate's open. Yeah. We made it. I'm alive. Okay, bye, future. Bye. Bye. Hey, future's just the past. What, you... what the hell's going on? <laughs> I guess it's I guess it's time for your daily hour with me again. Yeah, yeah. Gene is uh, yeah. In the, uh making the Bernie stuff in New Hampshire, and uh, who do what? Who's the president? And standing hot right dog in here. Uh, talk to Grandma and talk to Freddie. He's chopping zines. All right, bye, future. Oh, that was that. Okay, we, here's the credits. We made it. Bye. Thanks for watching, everybody. It's Sunday. We're on TCTV channel 22, 1130 and 2 a.m. Check it out. Yeah, YDHWM.com. 360-836-4384, call and leave a message, get on TV, yeah, 109 State Avenue, number three, that's our address, stand up, fun singer's a good song, thank you, TCTV, La Bebe, Jordi Fabulous, Graham Graham, South Spy, Con, John Mopster, this is Canada, State, USA, thank you, and viewers, it's you, you're watching, thank you, ASA, hell yeah, dog. Bye.